So um, I'm Josh Kornbluth. Uh, I'm a performer and filmmaker, and uh, it's this has been uh, I'm, I'm now in my second year as a fellow here at, at GBHI. I'm also visiting artist at, at the Memory and Aging Center, and it's uh, just one of the most beautiful times in my life. I feel like um, to me this community is. And I felt it right away when I started here. I didn't have any background in, in brain science. I didn't know where the brain was. Uh, when I found out, the answer surprised me. <laughs> and and, and it, when I came here and I started to meet participants, uh, caregivers, uh, doctors, researchers, the uh, incredible coordinators, the nurses, the social workers, it hit me just right away that this community is, it's not just medical or scientific, but to me it's also spiritual. It's an intensely spiritual community here, and even political, because to me, and to me one of the main topics that makes it so spiritual and political, as well as medical, is empathy, is, uh, is how we care for each other and how the people in this room are an example of how you can care for each other in this deep, deep way, which I think is the most beautiful part and significant and unique part of being human. So to me, it's been just a tremendous, remarkable experience to be here. And I have several projects that I'm working on. I'm making a feature film in, in which I'll star. Uh, I, I tried casting, uh, we had a casting session and Rob Lowe almost made it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, George Clooney uh, looked too Jewish, so uh, <laughs> so we're just going to have it with me and some other people. Uh, but it'll be based on my experiences here. I'm also working on a one-man show uh, based on my experiences here, a monologue, and I'm working on it through improvisations at the Marsh Theater. Uh, and you can sort of look that up. I do them. Uh, I'll be doing the next one on March 28th um, at the Marsh. And then this other thing that we developed, uh, and and this is just hot off uh, the press as well. Uh, 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 I was in talking with uh, Dr. Miller. Uh, we decided to start a series of online videos, hoping that they would become viral. I was actually, honestly, just hoping beyond my mom, you know. Yeah. And uh, I have a low bar. That's why I really succeed so much in my mind. And um, and so and and we decided we were going to do a series of videos that connect brain science and social justice issues and that what Vera was just mentioning that social justice and it was a thing when I first started here like social justice in the brain how do they connect they connect in tons of ways including how people are get an unequal access to uh, care and how people are treated unequally when they are impaired in certain ways or when they're caring for people who are impaired in certain ways and the point of democracy the point of being together in this life is to be with each other and support each other and make each other better so um, so so we decided to make this series of videos called citizen brain and uh, and, and I'm the host of it, and we just made the first one. It's on empathy. And if you like it, um, and you go back, uh, spread it. Spread it with your special spreading skills on the internet. It's on Facebook, it's on YouTube, and it's on Vimeo. And it's actually, we start on Thursday, and it's up, uh, when I last checked before we started this event, it was up to, I think, about uh, 6,000 views. Um, not all of them, my mom, I checked. So um, anyhow. <laughs> Here's the video, the first video in, in the Citizen Brain series. It is called The Empathy Circuit. <laughs> 